Hi everyone, I'm Claudio Encina. Have you ever looked at your listings that you have on your current stock sheet and evaluated them to see exactly where they're at? What I'm going to do today is show you a little exercise so you can start rating your listings so you can feel like you're making progress with every listing that you currently have. Here's the things that you need to look at. Commission, marketing, motivation and price. This is what I know. Your vendor wants to see that they're making progress. If they feel like they're making progress and getting closer to a sale, they're gonna stick with you and work with you. But if they feel like there's nothing happening and the wheels are spinning and there's no traction of getting a sale, they're gonna look for the next new agent in town to go with. So hopefully today, this little tip and series around videos around showing you what you need to do will help and serve you. Okay, so first thing, commission. If you've listed something at around 2% commission, I would generally give you one point. If you listed at more than 2%, give yourself two points on the commission scale. Around marketing, if you've got internet campaign, print media, they've done the full package, they've spent good money, VPA, vendor paid advertising, and they've done the whole lot, give yourself two points. The next thing you want to understand is their motivation. What are their issues, what are their concerns, what are their needs, and what are their motivation? Where are they going to next? Are they highly motivated? Do they need to be sold now so they can go to the next place? If they're highly motivated and they've bought another property and they need to be sold within the next 30 to 60 days, give yourself two points again. Now, within price, this is where you need to stop and look at it. Think about like if it's within 3% of what you think is fair market value, give yourself two points. If it's between 3 and 5%, give yourself one. And if it's over 5%, you've got an overpriced listing. That means you better give yourself a big fat zero or like we call it, a donut. But let's just say in this, in this scenario that you've got between three and 5%, which will give you one point. Now, out of a total of all eight points, what you wanna reach as a minimum is five points plus. Right here, in this example, we've got six out of eight. That's a really good listing. So, I tell you now, please take the time and go through your properties and see exactly where they're rated and what they can be over five points. If they're under five, what can you do around here to make it five points plus? I hope this video has really helped you today. Remember, stay focused, stay in control, and always stay in action.